Hello and warm greetings. Time to present you the latest English news. Former U.S. Ambassador to Afghanistan Zalmay Khalilzad will join the State Department as an advisor on Afghanistan. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said on Tuesday as he headed to Pakistan to discuss Islamabad's rule in helping to end the Afghan conflict. Ambassador Khalil Zara is going to join the State Department team to assist as in the reconciliation effort. So he will come on and be the State Department's lead person for that purpose. Pompeo told U.S. pool reporters traveling with him. Former cricketer star Imran Khan's party won Pakistan general election on July 25. The U.S. military recently said it would cancel $300 million dollars an aid to Pakistan over Islamabad's failure to take decisive action against militants. The Trump administration says Islamabad is granting safe haven to insurgents who are waging one 17-year-old war in neighboring Afghanistan a charge Pakistan denies. President Mohammad Ashraf Ghani chaired extraordinary meeting of National Procurement Commission to discuss the security of telecommunications in the country. The Office of the President at Palace in a statement say the meeting was organized on Tuesday evening where three procurement related items have combined value of seven million dollars belonging to the Ministry of Information Technology and Telecommunications were reviewed and approved for immediate implementation. The statement further added that Afghan telecommunications companies share the realization report regarding the previous decisions taken during the Nash previous decisions taken during National Procurement Commission meeting regarding the protection and maintenance of the billing system. Kabul police said an explosion occurred in Kabul Speedy 6 in Khalaya Nazar area, targeting wrestling James. An explosion happened in Qalai Nazar Kabul's on Wednesday based on the reports released. Police confirmed the explosion and said initial reports indicate a signed bomber detonated his explosive among athletes at a wrestling club. Source said casualties are fair. More detail will be added to the history. A powerful typhoon killed 10 people in western Japan and an airport company started to transfer some 3,000 stranded passengers by boats from a flooded airport. The government said on Wednesday, as more than a million homes were without power. Chebi or Swallow in Korean was briefly a super typhoon and is the most powerful storm to hit Japan in 25 years. It follows heavy rains, landslides, floods, and record breaking heat that killed hundreds of people this summer. About 3,000 tourists stayed overnight at Kansai Airport in Western Japan, an important hub for Japanese companies to export semiconductors television footage showing people lining up to buy food and drinks at a convenience store in the airport. That was a brief. Good night. Bye.